Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston. We have with us here today uh, the principal investigator for a new experiment that's going up on the Soyuz at the end of the month. Uh, it's going to be helping the astronauts uh, improve the exercise that they do in space to stay healthy. And I think it's called uh, Force Shoes. So we've got Andrea Hansen, who is again the principal investigator and uh, member of the Exercise Physiology and Countermeasures Lab here at Johnson Space Center. Thanks so much for joining us. Hi, Brandy. Thanks for having me today. So you've, you've got a shoe with you. What, what exactly is this? I do. This is the Force Shoe, and this is a commercial off-the-shelf product um, a company called Xsense makes, and it's a tool to help measure underfoot forces. It looks like a goofy sandal, but it's actually a high-fidelity research tool. And what it has included here are load cells underneath both the heel and the toe of the shoe that help us measure forces in three different directions, and also torque. That's the twisty motion. You can kind of think of it as a high-tech bathroom scale. Okay. Well, why, why would we need this on the space station? We're really interested in measuring exercise loads on the ARED, the Advanced Resistive Exercise Device. We can use that data in a lot of different ways. Why, is, why do we care about load? What, what, is, what is that, I guess, first of all, and, and why do we care about it? Sure. If you go into the gym and decide that you want to do, say, squat exercises, you're going to put a certain amount of weights on that bar. Well, ARID works in a similar way, except you're now exercising against the resistance of vacuum cylinders. When you dial in a load on ARID, it's not an exact science. So when you dial in 100, you might be lifting at 110 or maybe 90, give or take that 10 pounds on any given day, depending on the performance of the system. Right now, we don't have insight to the exercise load, so it's important that we can measure that using tools like the force shoe so we can better understand what we're asking the crew to exercise. And is that something I guess you'll, you'll want to keep track on as they, as they do their exercise? Absolutely. We'd like to collect this load data every day during every exercise session, but right now we're not getting any data from ARED. So we're looking at these portable load monitoring tools to help us collect that data. I know the astronauts do quite a bit of exercise to stay healthy, and it seems like it's, it's been working pretty good. We pr kind of got it down, so how will, these, how will these measurements help us with that? Absolutely. Since the ARED and the new treadmill were installed in late 2009 and early 2010, the crew have been coming back a lot stronger. But we know we have work to do. They're coming back with stronger muscles and even some increased quality in bone. But we're still worried about the strength of their bone and the quality of the, the inside of their bone and how that strength is going to be compromised when they come back to Earth. So we know we have work to do. Okay. Have you, have you tried these on yourself? Yes, I have tried the shoes on. Um, they are really a pretty comfortable sandal. Um, they're a little stiff, so we don't run in these shoes and we don't do a lot of jumping. But to stand and take a static load measure, they are they measure very accurately. Seeing another picture of them here on the uh, on the screen and a good uh, view of the the force measurement or load measurement uh, devices on the bottom there. Um, how many crew members are going to be wearing these? We have two crew members going up, launching on May 28th, who are going to participate in the force shoe evaluation, and that's Reed Wiseman and Alex, Alex Gerst. Um, both of those crew members will be helping us evaluate the shoe and understanding how accurate we can get the measures during a red exercise. And how will you, how, how do you, what, I guess, what gets the, the data to the ground? Is it, do you bring the shoes back or is it transmitted or? The data is going to be collected real time on a space station computer during the evaluation. So the test itself is pretty simple. We're going to have the crew dial in a number of loads on ARED, anywhere, say, from 0 to 100, 200 and higher, at 25-pound increments. We're going to look at that data and the repeated measures that we asked the crew to take to look for repeatability in the, in the load data in those measures between the crew members and also in their individual sessions. That'll help us determine if these four shoes are performing and behaving as we'd expect while in use with ARED. What would, what would I guess, decide if they're performing well? It would, so what we're going to be looking at is to make sure that when we take a static load measure, say at a 50-pound load, that when we take it three or four times in a row, it gives us that same number. So it's whether they match what you're expecting from the exercise machine or... Yeah, we're not really interested in, say, calibrating the exercise machine okay. at this point in time. We just want to make sure we dial in the same load every time to look to see if that load measure is repeatable. Once we decide that this tool is working appropriately and as expected in space, then we can go back and kind of do some of that fine-tuning. But right now, we're just making sure the tool works. 
So Gersten and Wiseman are basically yeah, just checking it out, and then future astronauts will be using it in a different way? Absolutely. If it works? Yes. What our hope is is that, one, the shoes work well and do give us that accurate data, and then we can apply these shoes and use them in our future research studies. We can use this kind of data to do things like um, evaluate human motion um, and perform the future arid biomechanics study, where we look at joint motion and the forces applied at different points on the body. So now you said these are commercial off-the-shelf products. Is it something that would be helpful to people on Earth as well, or is it just of interest to us in space? Yeah, it sure could. Right now, we largely do biomechanics studies in laboratory settings. Um, it usually involves a lot of big equipment, heavy equipment that's installed in long gateways. What portable load monitoring tools like the force you allow us to do is take the science to to the outside, to remote areas like space station, or even out into um, your everyday life situation. So we can look at how people walk around and move doing their everyday activities. Okay, well that's really interesting. Thanks so much, and I guess we'll, we'll look forward to hearing how it works out and maybe seeing uh, them more in use on the space station in the future. Sounds great, thank you so much. Again, this was uh, Andrea Hansen, who is the principal investigator for the Force Shoes experiment that's going up on the Soyuz at the end of the month. We'll go back now to regular mission coverage, thanks.